9.675. Utah looking to drop that 9.25 of Ryan Settler, which they will do. It's going to be a very good performance. And Penn State now, its highest score is a 9.25 on four by Bridges, who just went. Garcia, their last performer, now for the Nittany Lions over on the floor exercise. And she's one of their star performers. She's done consistently well. So she's just starting off the season. The first floor routine of the year. Just around if I can't spring double back. Stayed in bounds. Showing good control. Looks like she's enjoying. <laughs> <laughs> she has a fun floor routine interacting with the audience and with her team. I think our visitors feel up this crowd here as well, Maddie. They have a big house and this crowd gets behind you on floor. It's got to be fun for them as well as the visiting team in here. Absolutely. Gives you a little extra boost of confidence and a little extra energy, I think. Her next pass was a roundup back handspring double pike. So she showed good difficulty in her floor routine so far. And she's also showed really good control in her landings. On floor, you don't want to see any kind of uh, too much like feet movement. You just want to see one solid step back, which shows the judge you have control over your tumbling, which she's done so far. Utah with over a point lead going into this third rotation at 98.25 to 97.575. So Utah comfortably in the lead as we wrap things up on four. Garcia, a career best score of 9-9. Nine, nine. She tied that score at Big Tens last year to place fourth. Going into her third pass. She does a round off one and a half punch front layout. Just performed that routine really well. She has a solid, good end for kind of a rough start for Penn State on floor for this season. 